Welcome to our video tutorial. In the layout area of the Pecan Planner, you can place elements on a page that are to be printed. In this video, we'll show you how to export images and PDF files, as well as how to edit the settings of multiple viewports. We have already prepared a plan as an example. You can open the layout area by either clicking Layout in the Presentation tab or with the shortcut F7. In this layout, you can already see a few viewports. The content of the viewports can be displayed in various modes and projections. In the Properties Editor, you can change the camera and switch the display mode to colored. In the second window, a different camera angle has been selected. The Render Mode is labeled Hidden Line. In the Properties Editor, you will find the Print as Picture function. Disabling Print as Picture allows a vector printout option. The vector printing is not always available. You can read more about this in our Pecan Planner online help. Objects and viewports in the layout area can be moved, resized, and arranged in the foreground and background when overlapping. To move an object, grab it with the left mouse button and drag it around. To scale an object, you can use the corners as well as the outlines. During insertion or when scaling viewports, you can press Ctrl on your keyboard to set a predefined image format. You can then see three ledger lines which help you set the image format to symmetric, 4x3, or 16x9. Move the mouse on the ledger lines to scale the viewport in the corresponding image format. When objects are overlapping, you can determine which objects appear in the foreground and which should be in the background. Click the small button here to move an object in the foreground or background. The objects of a layout can be customized with the help of the function Arrange found in the Tools group. Here, in principle, there are two variants. Firstly, objects can be aligned on the layout page. Secondly, objects can be aligned in relation to each other. In order to use the latter variant, at least two objects must be selected. In Viewports, you can find the section where adjustments can be made. Double-click the corresponding window to enable the Interaction mode. If you move the mouse over the window, you can navigate by right-clicking and zoom with the mouse wheel as you can in the planning area. An additional way of adapting the display area in the viewport is to use the Fit Camera function of the Tools group in the Layout area. This function enables you to zoom onto a section of the content in the viewport. First click on the viewport you wish to customize, then click the Fit Camera button. Now you can select a rectangular area within the view by clicking the left mouse button on the desired points for the start and end of the area. When the area has been outlined, the zoom will take effect. The viewport itself takes on the proportions of your selection. To print the finished layout, you can select the Print button in the Page area. This leads you to the usual printer dialog where you can select your physical printer or a PDF printer. You can save your layout also as an image file. To do this, click Image in the Page area then select a format and enter a file name. Then you can continue using the image file for further purposes. Prepare individual printed layouts with Pecan Planner in order to convince your customers of your expertise. Thank you for your attention.